guys, it's like welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am a plus size witchy bitch who loves alternative fashion, body positivity, and oversharing on the internet. So if any of that interests you, make sure to subscribe to join the cult and become a little light bulb. Speaking of being a witchy bitch, are you currently hung up on someone that you probably shouldn't be? Come on, be honest. Come on, tell your mama light. Are you heartbroken over someone? Can you just like not seem to get over someone? Do you keep dreaming about the same person? If anything like that applies, then you probably need the ritual that I'm about to show you. That's right, today's spell is a cord cutting spell. Okay, first thing you need to know about me as a witch is I like to save money and I'm lazy. I feel like that applies to some people, but I just have to tell you because anything I teach you, I guarantee there's a better and more thorough way to do it. That's just not how I do it. Witchcraft and magic is very subjective, so just go with your gut feeling, do what feels right. That being said, I have stripped this spell down to the bare bones, so if you only have like three dollars to spare and like 10 minutes to spare, this'll work. But I'll also let you know like different things you can add if you wanted it to be like even more effective. Because even though I am lazy, like yes, if you use more natural ingredients and put more energy into it, it's gonna work better. But I'm showing you exactly how I did it and it worked, so. It is what it is. I am proof that you don't need fancy things to do magic. So not sponsored, but again, we went to the dollar store because I freaking love the dollar store and we got everything we needed. First thing, we got some candles. It came with two candles because obviously you need two candles. Well, not obviously, if you've never done one of these spells, it's not obvious to you. Why did I say it like that? It comes with two candles, one representing you, one representing the person that you're trying to, you know, shoo away. And it was only $1 for two of them. It came in different colors. I was thinking about getting red, but I don't know, the white just, the white felt better. That's what I mean when I say like, trust your gut, like just go with what feels good. And today white candles felt better than red. I do understand if you wanna use red or pink though, because it represents like romance. And if it's a romantic relationship you're trying it to cut off, that may work. If you're not sure which color feels good, I say just stick with white, cause it's like a universal candle color. Next thing, I got this little like ball of twine that my dog has uh, kind of chewed up, but it's still gonna work. It's still gonna fulfill its purpose. It was in the craft section of Dollar Tree and it's like a ginormous thing of twine. So I don't know if it's called twine, maybe rope, string. I, I don't know. Those are the only two things I bought from the dollar store. Some other things that you'll need is like candle holders. I actually got these from the dollar store like four, five years ago. They're like almost like little shot glasses. Like you could probably use some like heavy weighted shot glasses for this too. Just something to make your candles stand up straight. It doesn't have to be fancy. Like these are pretty big. We're gonna see how well they hold the candles, but that's what I'm using. And of course a lighter, which you can find at the dollar store too, if you don't already have one. So that's one, two, three. This came in a pack of four. Four, do four dollars to get past some kind of relationship you had. That is a pretty darn good deal if I do say so myself. So now that we have all of the ingredients, I'm going to walk you through what I did. I already did this spell like two, three, three, four, uh, some amount of months ago. Some of you will probably know who I did it over, <laughs> but I'm not going to specify if you don't already know. <laughs> But yeah, basically my story is I've never really believed in agreed with cord cutting spells. In my head, if you have a connection with someone, like if you have those strings, I call them strings. If you have strings with someone, either they're supposed to be there or they're supposed to fade organically. At least that's what I always thought. However, this specific person in my life, the strings would not fade. Like I had waited months and months over a year um, and I was still thinking about them every day, dreaming about them every night. Like it was, it was intense. The strings, there's too many strings. So I just needed a little help to, you know, cut, cut some of those stringies in half, you know, get me going on the right, on the right path. And having to do that really just like changed my outlook on cord cutting spells because at the end of the day, you have to do what's best for you and you are in charge of your own universe. So if you don't want to have a connection with someone anymore, you don't have to wait for it to fade organically. You could just cut that baby off right here and now. But yeah, I said a little bit, but basically I was dreaming about them every single night, I'm not even kidding. Thinking about them constantly, literally everything reminded me of them. Keep in mind, I haven't talked to them in like over a year, like a year and six months, I think. Like a, a long time to still be thinking about someone, which is kind of embarrassing to say, but 
I don't care because it happens. You just get really attached to someone and it's really hard to let go. And that's nothing to be ashamed of or embarrassed of. It doesn't make you a weak person. It just means that you are really loving and open and you gave your soul to that person. But your soul is yours and it's time to get it back, baby. I'm going to incorporate a video of my cord cutting spell that I did a couple months ago. But let me know if you have any interpretations of what it means. I posted it to a bunch of like witchy Facebook groups to see what they thought about like how my candles burned and they said a lot of interesting things so and if you do try this out make sure to post on instagram and tag me so i can give you my interpretation of what i think it means and okay yeah let's get started enough talk let's get started so let me open this baby up when i did my ritual it was kind of like spur of the moment i like woke up that day from having another dream of this person and i was like you know what I, like i think i'm done like I'm over it and I'm just gonna prepare you guys like it is very very emotional I cried a whole bunch I'm not gonna cry in this video though don't worry I won't subject you to more of my emotions than you already get okay candles candle holders my <laughs> it <laughs> it's gonna work no one said it had to be pretty wow oof, oof. okay now that your candles are like somewhat standing up on their own you're going to get your twine and tie these babies together this was honestly the hardest part of this spell like trying to figure out how to tie these candles together i don't know i was having some issues though i made my twine like super duper long because i'm gonna wrap it a bunch because like i said i had a lot a lot of strings with this person so depending on how attached you are obviously do like more twine just representing all the different connections you have made with that person it doesn't have to be pretty like you just kind of drape them around you know ta-da yeah like i said it doesn't have to be pretty just has to work I'm gonna like twist it up so it's a little tighter. There we go. Also, when I did mine, I made the mistake of putting it like kind of low when I lit it. So I recommend putting the string up higher because it's gonna take freaking forever for the string to catch fire. So yeah, put it up higher. This is pretty much the setup. Like I said, this spell is like super duper simple. The next thing I did is the part that actually got emotional. So you pick a candle, which one is you, which one is that person. So like, for example, this is gonna be me because this is the first one that I tied and I feel like I'm the first one that made the connection and this is going to be that person. So basically what I recommend doing is closing your eyes, trying to meditate for a few minutes. If you can't do that, just like staying still, grounding yourself for um, a few moments. And then while keeping your eyes closed, envision that person in front of you. So like the candles here, I'm envisioning this person sitting next to me right here and saying everything that you possibly need to say to that person. And I mean everything, all of the apologies, all of the anger, all of the regrets, things that you wish you would have said to them, everything. Get it all out. Like imagine this is the last time that you will ever speak to them because it kind of is. So there's no room for leaving anything out. You need to say what you have to say right now, now or never. I honestly God took like 20 minutes doing this because I had a lot to say, a lot of repressed things. And once you once you get to talking, it really starts like flowing out. You start like purging all of that energy. And then when you think you have said all the things you needed to say to that person, you have to say goodbye. An example of what I said is, I call back all of my energy that you still have. You may not have access to any of my energy, any of my soul anymore starting now. I love you, I'm sorry, and goodbye. And then you light that candle. I lit the other person's first and then I'm going to light mine. Like I said, I did it a few months ago, so I will insert the clip of my candles burning. Nothing ever made sense to me. God said I'm energy from living in the absence of your memory. Don't look at me, I got too much on my mind. Don't look at me, I got too much light. Keeping all the built up blood inside. live to die and i've been trying every night to find the word regarding the results of this spell for me it has been extremely effective so i'm gonna get real with you guys i have kind of fallen off with witchcraft for 
a really long time like probably a year because one of the last really big spells and rituals I did was trying to get this person back into my life and my higher self my spirit guides knowing that that was not good for me did not let that happen so basically I put my entire soul into this spell and it didn't happen so it really made me kind of like doubt my beliefs and it kind of just threw me off for a long time but now in hindsight i know why i didn't get what i wanted and it was the universe looking out for me obviously magic isn't a science it's not always going to work and you don't always know why at that moment but everything happens for a reason and this spell working as well as it did has completely restored my faith in magic and myself i do still dream about them sometimes but it definitely isn't every day anymore like i'll probably dream about them tonight because i'm talking about it but i don't think it has anything to do with like ties that are still there if the dreams do start coming back if i do start thinking about them more often i'll probably redo the spell because when you have so many ties and connections with someone they're like deeply rooted and it might take a few times to get it all out but yeah it totally it it totally changed things like I have so much more energy I'm so much happier I sleep so much better it was just kind of like a release and also a reclaiming of my energy because I feel like a lot of my energy was going towards this person who wasn't even in my life anymore and so I just finally took all that back and I have so much energy now some things you could do to make this more effective obviously is cleansing the area saging using a uh, paleo santo using different colored candles using oil on the candles buying natural candles because god knows what is in a dollar store candle meditating a lot longer will help a lot and of course asking your spirit guides your higher self or whatever deities you work with to help you but yeah that's the cord cutting spell I hope you guys like I hope it's easy for you guys. Make sure to comment and subscribe right now. I love you. I'll see you next time. Bye. How to reject, chasing thrills, jump out of the wreck, laughing harder, slamming a jet, drinking just to drive. It's a race to the bottom. We'll never know why. We just live to die.